The Ludlow Massacre was a horribly violent event, and I'm not proud of all the women and children who died in it. That being said, I am proud of all the rights workers and laborers earned because of the massacre. Should the mistreatment of the workers justify the brutality of the Ludlow Massacre? Hello, my name is Louis, Louis Tiquez, and this is the story of the Ludlow Massacre. I was born in Latra, Crete in 1886, and I grew up in Greece. I had a good childhood growing up in Greece. I spent the days playing outside and being around my family. When, when I was 24, like many others, I decided to immigrate to the States in hopes of a great life and a better job. I moved to Colorado. But that was not the case. When I moved to Colorado, I got, the jo I got stuck with the job of a minor, like many other foreigners got. Me and the other people there, many of them being foreigners, had a terrible job. Me and the other people working there worked back-breaking labor for hours every day in terrible working conditions. And for that terrible, for that terribly back-breaking work, we were earning around a dollar a day, and it was not right. No one I worked with liked the working conditions, and no one, el and no one else either thought what was happening was fair. So, we, we the workers were the only people who thought the treatment we were receiving was unjust. We were angry, so the Colorado Iron and Fuel Company decided to act out. We first initiated the coal strike. There was a list of rights we wanted, and we all decided we didn't want to work again until we got those rights. Going on strike caused us to get evicted from our company houses, but we didn't care because we moved into tent villages we set up. We learned that we weren't going to get what we wanted by being nice and going on strike, and this was the start of the Ludlow Massacre. Things were incredibly violent. Me, us and the militia were starting houses on fire, murdering people, opening gunfire. Many women and children were unfortunately casualties of the massacre. I am not proud of that. The fi all this fighting and violence went on for about a week. It was terrible. Then, on April 20th, 1914, I, Louis, Louis Ticus, was shot. This was practically the end of the Ludlow Massacre. My men tried to continue fighting for a few days after I shot, but nothing was really happening. At first, my men felt like they were fighting for nothing, like everything was in vain. I know all that death and fighting wasn't in vain, though. I know that because of the massacre, people learned that workers deserve better rights. People now pay, treat their laborers better.